What's up YouTube? Jason from JM Chicago Land Cichlids Fish Room Showroom. Uh, I'm going to show you our re most recent purchase for the uh, fish room and uh, talk a little bit why we got it and what we think of it. Uh, it is a marina external hang on holding and breeding box. This is the box itself. We've got size large. I think it's 10 and a half inches wide. Holds a half gallon of water. So Currently we have 14 breeding groups in the fish room and we only have nine 10 gallon tanks. So right now uh, we got a couple empty 10 gallon tanks up top. We don't have all our breeding groups breeding right now so we're in okay shape now but seen this on eBay. Uh, pretty neat little thing. What we were doing before when we're stripping our uh, our fish, uh, sometimes uh, we got, or our, or our fry, I'm sorry, our fry had small egg sacs on them. Uh, I didn't really want to put them in a net because they kind of hang down on the bottom, get caught between the net frame and the net itself, and sometimes end up dying. So you got to put them in a tumbler. Um, so this way, this is something new we got. We can actually put the uh, small fry in here. If they have a little bit of egg sacs, they're not going to get caught up anywhere. They can hang on the bottom. Without having to put them in a tumbler. So these uh, breeder breeder boxes have um, comes with three separate dividers in there, so you can have three separate uh, little spots to put fry in. Uh, right now, I've only got one divider in there, and these guys swimming around in there are some OB peacock fry, uh, day 15 strip today. There's a couple of them with very small egg sacs. So, this is somewhere we can put our freshly uh, stripped fry. They have even small egg sacs. Um, get them acclimated to uh, swimming around. Not just dumping them in a 10 gallon tank and you know free for all, have this big tank. So they got, got a spot to kind of learn to uh, swim. And we'll, uh, we'll keep them in there until they Get a little bit of size on them, then move them to the 10 gallon. Make sure their egg sacs are gone. Uh, start feeding them in here. Get them used to eating, them, and then move them up into a bigger tank. So, let's go over this thing real quick. It does have a real easy removable lid. That's where the water's coming out, dumping into, into the uh, box. You see, it does have a downspout inside the tank. Uh, it's powered by air, draws the water up into the uh, box, flows through. It's coming out right here, out the other side. Things nice and sturdy on the outside of the tank. Uh, if you look up in here, it's got these little uh, retainer ring or retainer that kind of hangs on the lip of the uh, tank. And then down below there is these uh, spacer bars to keep the bottom from the tank. They got several different positions in there. You can lock it in there. And I pretty much had to mess with it a couple times and get it. And uh, you see the water inside the box is nice and level. So that keeps it away from the, uh, the bottom away from the tank. Yeah, the uh, piece of uh, decoration in this tank is filthy. We, these guys decided to kill our uh, algae that was in there. So, anyways, let's get back to the box. I say it has three dividers. We're only using one now. Um, water gets drawn up, flows through there. It just gives us more space to uh, grow out very small fry. Pretty neat little thing. Like I say it holds a half gallon of water. I believe this large size is ten and a half inches wide. Uh, I can. I fit it on the 75 with the thicker uh, frame. It does work on uh, that too, so pretty much universal. I didn't fit on any tank. We'll be purchasing more of these in the future. It's uh, something different than putting them inside the net, inside the tank, and getting caught between the net and net getting filthy from the uh, fish waste and uh, extra food. So that's it, Marina 
hang on the outside breeder box. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Jams, Cargoland, Cichlids, Fish Room, Showroom.